What do you think of our new boat? Let's go. Come on, Kai. Like a slack line. Buzz the tower. What? <laughs> I mean they're the same the same boat so I'm in the old one we just put this one in the water and now we're heading back home so I have to drive this one and he's gonna take that one I get this whole boat to myself how do you like it it looks nice it looks bigger this is right now perfect weather oh it's so beautiful you guys it's out of this world beautiful it's really nice Hey, see ya. Okay.
What do you think, Pots? I love it. It's great. <laughs> Uh, do you like how it's up further, for the, uh, instead of being in the back? Do you like that? Yeah, I feel, uh, like bigger. <laughs> yeah. No, this is great. Oh my gosh. It's like a, it's like a limo. Like, you want to ride? It looks like a little, like, BMW Z series convertible. Yeah. Like a little convertible sports car. It's swanky. <laughs> or wait, as Jake would say, it's clutch. I can't <laughs> believe I just said that. <laughs> okay, see ya. All right, we ready for our tree number two? We're ready. Our system's gonna work good, but it's our house we're talking about. Yeah. Our yurt. Yeah. We got everything <laughs> all set up. And um, let's do this. And we're also learning how to set up a zip line so later on we can just zip line across the whole property. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to stay because you look so cute sitting there. Okay. What do you think? Ooh. <laughs> That's Still, my heart still pounds. It's adrenaline rush, but that that one was mechanically executed perfectly. Yeah. What do you think? It looked great. Am I screaming? Sorry. No, no, no. It looked great. Okay. Whew. All right.
Now we're gonna do these two small ones. All right. And then the only one that's uh, most nerve, or the last two that are most nerve wracking are these two right here, which are the closest to the yurt, but they're very straight. Yeah. And we're building our confidence now and our system is pretty good. What do you think? For sure. Yeah. Tree number five. Is it? I think so, yeah. Okay. And this one is the closest to the yurt. Yeah. Way closer. We need There's to really the yurt. Be on our A game right now. Yeah. Whew. All right, number five is ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gotta stay focused because yeah. this is the closest one to the yurt. Every time, Yan. It feels like um, what it feels like to spar in the martial arts. Like, gives you the same feeling as sparring. Yeah. Like sparring somebody better than you. I just hope that the forest is like not mad at us and we're able to take this wood and use it for amazing purposes here and then in its place plant um, butterfly tractors, bird attractors, fruit trees, and really do right by the land. And our goal is not to keep cutting down trees, it's to stop. But we also don't want to die when the wind blows, so. Tree number six. Super, super successful day today. We downed, what, seven trees. So we're seven for seven. Now we're threatening the, the Kamal Rebbe life. So we're super hungry. I know I am. So we're heading out to the garden and we're gonna make a salad. Well, I'm gonna do a taco salad and Jake's gonna do tacos, so. Down. Sit. Down. Sit. Down. Sit. Good boy. This is just leftover water after we boiled the prawn and the crab from the last catch, so it's like super bioavailable. My hat always catches the bird net. It's got a lot of microbes in it, so we're gonna pour that. as like a juice. Then, got a bucket full of different kinds of seaweed that I just picked up when I was down the beach earlier. It's like a dozen different kinds of seaweed. And then all the shavings from the alder tree. And that hopefully will snuff out the smell because of the carbon in there and start the compost process and no bears will smell it.
How's it look? Looks great. They're so beautiful. They taste so good. It's like a um, Novotero. Sure. It just made me think of it. Cheers to a successful tree cutting day. Mm -hmm. What did you create? This swing and something else. You guys have seen me a couple of vlogs back, me making this awesome swing, which is like my super favorite in the whole world. Oh, the cats are down. But I created a new space that I absolutely love so much. So if you guys have been following us for a while, we were sleeping up in the loft and it was just feeling a little crowded, a little cramped because we started to use that as storage for extra food and stuff because we don't have a pantry. We also don't have a bathroom, so we have all of our bathroom stuff up there. So I decided to move our bedroom down here and I'm so happy I did because I love it so much. <laughs> it's so great. As you guys know, we live in a yurt. It's a round structure, so finding the feng shui of the yurt has been very challenging. So it's constantly changing and moving, and I've rearranged this place so many times that I can't even count, and I'm sure I'm gonna be rearranging it so many more times, but I think this situation here is perfect, and I love it so much. So we have our bed down here, I put a room divider in to separate us from the front door so when someone walks in. And then we have our closet over here. Here we're going to put a door so it's going to be easier for us to go to our washroom that we're going to be building here soon. So all this will be gone, um, which will open this up even more, but I just love this space so much now. It's awesome. What do you think? Do you like it? It's, it's swanky. Yeah, we're able to like actually like lay down and like sit up without hitting our heads and I can make the bed every day, which I don't know why I just love making the bed every day. It just feels like you got your shit together. <laughs> and the loft was warmer up there. Yeah. But it was also kind of cramped. It was getting very cramped. And right now we're using it for storage, which is great because then all of our boxes and everything stay up there. And once we start building more structures, we have a couple of boxes that have all of our bathroom stuff in it. We have extra food up there because we don't have a pantry. So once we start building all that, then the loft will be open again. And then maybe we can turn that into like a cool like reading nook or something really cool. Like, you know, we, or we can move our bedroom back up there. But for the time being, I think this is exactly what we need. And it just really flows well with the space. If you guys go check out my Nicholistic channel, my other YouTube channel, I just did a yurt tour where I show off the whole yurt. So go check that out. Also, the bed is sitting on pallets, so it was free. We got these pallets when we got some stuff delivered, so which is awesome. Pallets are so amazing. I didn't even have to cut them or anything. I just laid them down. Also, my other favorite thing is our yin yang that we have right here. Um, I really like this a lot, and I think it kind of ties the room together. And dream catchers. You're really into it. You make your own, too. Yeah, so this is my second dream catcher I've ever made. Um, and then I have a couple of other ones hanging up. So. Can we see it? You made this. I did, yeah. Like maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> it's super crafty. Crafty, thank you. Yeah. This is the latest one I just made. I'm not done with it yet. I still want to add more so it looks more full down here. But this is yarn that I dyed with avocado skins and pits. And these are just some yarn and fabric that I have. So yeah. This one's my favorite. I love this one. Yeah, it was really, it's really simple. Oh no, where did he go? <laughs> I was gonna get the cat. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> I think the oh cats- Oh my god. I think the cats like it down here too. They were sleeping on the bed all the time. So. Is that reishi? <laughs> yeah, that's reishi. 
Okay, we gotta get back outside and get back to work so we can put this hippie hot tub up because I would love to take a bath. <laughs> Where are you going? Get attacked by two dogs. <laughs> okay, okay, let's take this outside. Let's take it outside. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. You and I both, you and I both are not having it today. <laughs> No, we worked so hard yesterday and I'm just, I think both of us are just like exhausted. <laughs> like we're cold. It is very cold today, but. I'm tired. We gotta get this chofu up. Well, let's build the platform and put the tub on it. Unpack the stove, connect it and then build stairs. Then fill it with water, clean water. <laughs> Stop. And then. <laughs> You're adding to us. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll mill, so this piece that's here will mill the stair planks out of this piece just maybe 12 feet in and the rest of it is for log cabin but in this section is for stairs and we'll just mill chunks off. And yeah, we'll because probably, probably just need like what, five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll probably need five. And we'll just set it to like inch and a half thickness on the mill. Yeah. And this area will have enough sunlight that we can plant the cherry trees and the other fruit trees here mm -hmm. and then save the fruit tree orchard for the upcoming fruit trees. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be great. Okay. And it's just going to make this area look so pretty. And... and we'll put blueberries and we'll put jasmine.
level them out. Surprise ending, we're not building a hippie hot tub, we're building a log hammock. Yeah, just wake me up when it's done. Okay. This is actually quite comfortable. Oh, come on, up here, Puma. He's like, bro, you took my log. Bro, you took my log. Here comes Kai, he's all left out. Aw. Here you go, give me some kisses and a hug. Okay, remove it. Exhausted. First one's done. Yeah. Now we got a lot Everything more else has to be level to these two guys. Yeah, so let's go to this one next. Because just if the audience wants to know, these two stumps on the back are still in the ground. I left them long on purpose, just like everybody else who's been trolling me in the comments saying, Jake, you're not cutting the stumps low enough. I have reasons for that. I'm using them for upcoming projects. So just watch and what? enjoy. Come on, guys, ready? Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 there you go. No, no fighting, dig. <laughs> They're fired. Use it. <laughs> Come on. I think it looks good. How many times have you and I tripped and fallen today? A lot. <laughs> How many bugs have we been bit by today? A lot. It's just like a hard day today. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, so that should look more. That looks great. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna lay these like this, bond them to the stumps. I'm gonna block it this way. That just means put another board between them. And then I'm gonna cut it with the chainsaw to whatever shape you want. If you want a square, if you want it, whatever. It's great. And then we'll put the tub on top in the morning when uh, all this concrete dries. Right, Puma? Perfect. Let's head inside where it's safe. <laughs> Fell, huh? Aww. You okay, Kai? <laughs> totally like pushed you off. I always fall. Oh. 